So now that we've established that the like prevailing collective thoughtless internet opinion about this game is stupid and wrong, let's actually start. Uh oh no, oh no, what's happening? It's okay, we're skipping this anyway. Let's actually start talking about the game itself. <laughs> <clears throat> I feel like the fact that Sonic Heroes again was so devoid of any capacity for a narrative whatsoever is kind of like the biggest knock against this game. <clears throat> because it's picking up where... Oh, god damn it. Because it's picking up where Sonic Heroes kind of left the notion of Shadow coming back to life dangling. The X button lets me attack. The B button. Hey, Shadow. Hey, hey Sonic. I really like how Sonic is done in this really game. I'll talk about that. Let's you and me show them a thing. But first, like, where's, where's my favorite position. line? Oh, uh, no, that's not it. <clears throat> There's the line where Sonic talks about guns. It's pretty funny. This one? Nope. Because of course. Oh, sorry. I'm back, like, for this run, I'm gonna be doing an all-hero run-through. So, for some reason, the story route is you go hero, you go down. So I'm gonna be doing all, like, all down all the time for this one. <clears throat> like, it's, like... Shat, Sonic, you accidentally killed that guy. That's not nice. Uh, it's kind of fortunate, because, like... You needed Sonic Heroes to bring Shadow back to life, but then it just totally did nothing with it, and it raised this question of, like, maybe Shadow is a robot? I don't know. And, like, you gonna do anything with that? No? Okay, whatever. Hold on, is this it? Nope. <laughs> Here it is. Personally, I would have those things. Yeah, Sonic, you're so wholesome. <laughs> what happened? Sonic, I wouldn't be caught dead in this place. Man, what the Isn't heck this you doing? exactly where you like me? I'm exactly where you like me, you know. So, like, this game really had to pick up the slack because... <clears throat> in in Sonic Adventure 2, Shadow didn't have any internal consequences. I've talked about this extensively. Excuse me, I need your gun. You're fine. Look, they don't even die. They just lay down on the floor like pussies. Didn't have any internal comment. He knew who he was and what was going on with the world. Nice job, Shadow. Like, there was, like, there was kind of some questions being- It's actually more conducive to not use the, uh, special meter when you're actually, like, trying to accomplish the missions. Because while you're maxed out with your special gauge like this, you have unlimited ammo. Look at this shit. And I think you're also invisible. Ah. I think you're also invincible. <laughs> Shao didn't have any internal conflict. Like, there was a question raised, like, oh, but are you really Shao? And he's like, yeah, whatever. But then Sonic Heroes comes along, and, like, it kind of does the same thing, where he's like, yeah, fuck it, I'm still the ultimate life form Shadow the Hedgehog. But at the same time, he's sort of like, okay, but it's still bullshit that I don't really know what the deal is. 
so that's sort of where he's at in this game. He's not like, oh, what is my life? I can't even do anything because, like, how am I to know? Like, he's not wallowing in existential angst. He's not dealing with any insecurities, really, when you get right down to it. But he is going, okay, come on. This is bullshit. This is, this is fucked up. I really should know what's going on, right? I have these weird memories. I might be a robot, but then why do I get these weird flashbacks? Who the fuck even is Shadow? Like, there's so much I don't know. And I know I'm awesome. I'm the ultimate life form. That's basically the only thing I do know. But I mean, come on. <laughs> come on. Right? I mean, come on. That's really where he's at in this game. That's why in that opening cutscene, when Black Doom is like, Yo, Shadow, let's roll. And he's like, what? Um, okay, okay, I guess. Like, maybe this will be my chance to find out the answers of what's going on. Excuse me, you guys suck. Sonic, I don't really have a side. I'm just doing this because I kind of like the ending we get for the hero campaign. So that's kind of like the foundation of the story with this, but I'm going to wait until the next playthrough to really get into the narrative of it. I'm going to I'm going to do this one talk like you go into this game after Sonic Heroes and you're like, "Okay, are you going to fucking answer the question of why the fuck is Shadow alive now?" The answer is yes. So this, uh, this is like the Shadow Box. It has all of your New Game Plus weapons in it. Because as you'll notice, there's like 16 endings to this game. <laughs> there's eight final levels, and once you beat each and every one of them. Again, like Sonic Heroes, the fact that you have to replay this over and over again is kind of a knock against it. But for me, it's different. It's not the same kind of complaint. Because in Sonic Heroes, you're playing the same goddamn levels over and 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 over again. But in this, you can switch it up. You can decide which levels you want to play. You're not playing the same levels over and over. You're playing this level, and then you get to decide, okay, do I want to do this level next? Do I want to do that level next? You can decide where your route goes from there. And there's, and again, there are no repeats. Every level is completely unique. All of them have different level uh, design, all of them have different geometry, enemy placements, completely different environments, art assets, different companions that, like, follow you around and help you out during it, different missions. Like, there's a lot of replayability with this game, and unlike with Sonic Heroes, where it's like, God damn it, I don't want to do it over and over again, I do like playing each and every one of these levels. So then, there's eight final levels, and each of them has two different endings for whether you choose to be hero or evil. And <laughs> when you beat them, you unlock one of these weapons. So we have a Katerner. We have a Katerner. We have... What is this? I think it's like a... Like a satellite drop gun or something like that. We have the Billy Hatcher gun. Oh, my edge. Look at how edgy this game is, you guys. Look. It's... Oh, no, they're disappearing. Now. Look at how edgy this game is, you guys. Oh, look. It's trying to be so serious. Here's a Billy Hatcher gun. Fuck you. You're retarded. And then there, there'll be another one we'll get to. And again, and, uh, again, you go into this game after Sonic Heroes. I feel like they, like... Finally, they kind of, they polished it up. Like, I, I implied while playing Sonic Heroes that in the next game after Sonic Heroes, they kind of sweep up all the problems I had with the way that game played. And this is you, this game is using the same engine as Sonic Heroes. If you look, these are even the same character models. There are the exact same character models as the ones that were used in Sonic Heroes. You can really tell uh, when you see Dr. Eggman. It's literally just the same character model as Sonic Heroes. And this game just plays like you're playing as the speed character. You're playing as Shadow without needing to switch up and switch between other characters and gameplay styles. 
And so they really were able to take that one gameplay style and polish it. I actually feel like this game is like the pinnacle of... Death to all who oppose me. Fuck you. I'm being a hero, but I do like just killing dudes for no reason. Because I'm so edgy. We need assistance! Uh, it re I, like, I feel like this game is the probably the best in terms of gameplay of all the adventure era games. Oh, shit. Oh, Sonic. You're such a good two shoes. <laughs> Of all the adventure era games, I would call them. All the games of this style that started with Sonic Adventure. That play kind of like this. Like, guns aside, which again, I don't really- I don't have a problem with the guns at all, I don't know how people complain. The way- like, it really feels like they finally put a lot of thought into it. In previous games, the way it would work is, you would just press the X or B button. Like, if you would look in, uh, Sonic- Stop calling them that. If you would look- hold on. If you- Sonic. If you would look in, uh, Sonic Adventure 2, you would see that prompt in the upper right, where it's like, press B button to drill claw, or press B button- I'm not gonna use that, because I'm right at the end, so it will catapult me directly into the Chaos Emerald, then the mission will end, and I'm trying to do the hero route. Uh, the way it would work is, it would have- oh right, I have infinite ammo. <laughs> the way it would work is, you would have- it would be the one action button, and it would be context sensitive. In this game, the way it works is, you have- they realize, oh shit, we have the X button, and the B button! Let's have them do different things! So now, you go up to a line of rings, and instead of pressing X, and having it do the same thing as the B button, it will only respond to the B button. And you press the B button, and you do the spin dash. And you press the X button, and you do a punch punch kick, which sucks, and you will never use this. But while holding a gun, X also shoots the gun. It's your attack button, basically. And, and again, I don't see a problem. I don't know why people bitch and whine about the gun controls in this. Again, it feels like they're just complaining because there are gun controls. They're not actually going, these are bad gun controls. They're going, these gun controls exist. Therefore, they are bad. I mean, it just plays like Ratchet and Clank, really. Like, it's a very typical pre... I mean, again, Resident Evil 4 came out the same year this game did. Looks like I guess it decided it's a pre-Resident Evil third-person shooter. It didn't have the system yet. Come on. There's just one more. Use this. Uh, that's always the worst. <laughs> that, but the way it works is, when you're trying to solve the mission, you had all these checkpoints. And you can go back to any section of the level in order to find stuff you may have missed. Which might be a little tedious, but don't fuck up next time. But hey, at least you're not fucked. At least you actually can go back if you want to. Don't, don't talk to me. It's probably just like one flying thing somewhere. Don't touch the red fruit. And, uh, it uses- it- you might have noticed it has the triangle jump that Heroes did. And it actually expands on it, because it's not doing it because there's no wall for me to triangle jump to. But, if you jump into the wall, you can also run along the edge like the Matrix. So it's really taking the concept of the speed characters in Sonic Heroes, and making the entire game around that, and really polishing it up. And I think it plays pretty darn well. Like, what, what, oh yeah, I know where it is. Come on. There's really nothing bad I can say about the gameplay in this game, quite frankly and honestly with you. Like, again, that's where my confusion with people bitching and whining about this game comes from is, it plays perfectly fine. What's your problem? 
I think it's an improvement on Sonic Adventure 2. It's taking the stuff they experimented with adding in in Sonic Heroes and making the entire game around that, and I think it plays pretty well. I can't think of a single thing about this gameplay that's systematically broken. The worst you can say is, like, the gunplay is pretty tacked on. I mean, yeah, but it's just a Sonic game with very derivative gun controls slapped into it, like Ratchet and Clank gun controls. They're not bad, they just... Yeah, let's just put them in there. I don't see the problem with that, personally. And there's, like, vehicle sections, again, they're just kind of slapped in there, but they're not... Yeah, like, whatever. You press A, and it drives forward. There it is. What up, buddy? Uh, there we go. That's all. I mean, if you want to, you can just totally not use guns. It's not like you're forced to use guns if you don't feel like Disgusting it. Disgusting black creatures. Get out of my sight. Racism! Shadow, you're black too. What the fuck is wrong with you? Race trader. Yeah, that took a while because I was standing around and talking about gameplay conventions. Suck my dick. Uh, these cutscenes just repeat, but... I did find this one pretty funny, but I didn't talk about it at the time because I was talking about 25 to life. The black aliens have hit six major cities around the world. It's basically like Independence Day. Have you casualties. seen Independence Day, Among sir? Them, Westopolis has received the heaviest casualties Westopolis. due to its weakened defense system. Downtown Westopolis has been almost completely destroyed. Unconfirmed sources have also reported seeing a black hedgehog in Westopolis. Shadow? Heterochromia! Deploy the troops now! And if you find Shadow with the black aliens, then kill them all. But sir, isn't Shadow on our side? That raises an interesting question, he's doesn't evil it? And he's the enemy. How does the military, how does you the human military me. classify this Shadow and Company? You're mine. I mean, Sonic and Company, like... What is the official military designation of Sonic and Friends? Because they do totally do stuff. Like they're helping out with this alien invasion. Oh, What's the classification? Sweet, yeah, well, I'm not here to save you. Thought you might say something like that. How about a little friendly competition? Don't waste my time. <laughs> We found the third Chaos Emerald in this city. Why were there three Chaos Emeralds in this one city? Here is done. <laughs> now get going. Guess that means welcome to the next level. Oh my Let's god. Go. Sonic has become self-aware. <laughs> I like how, again, Shadow's trying to be all, like, distant and aloof, and Sonic's just so not having it. It's like, whatever, dude. Again, they're totally not talking about how Shadow totally died. I guess it's like whatever, right? I'm just clearly not bothering him. Well, I mean, it is, but I guess that's not really Sonic's problem. So this level's really frustrating if you want to do the hero route. Because, again, it's a failable one. Looks like the black creatures have turned tail and ran. Let's go uh, another vehicle and finish what we started. Stop shooting me. So na- like... It's kind of frustrating that all of the NPCs in the game will be hostile to you. Oh cool, I have unlimited ammo while I'm in this. That's cool. That's a cool detail. Yeah, this one's really frustrating because your the mission is chasing this thing and trying to destroy it, but... If you miss that opportunity, like, you're totally fucked. You can Watch totally out, miss out Sections of the roadway are being destroyed by on destroying... No, no! On destroying, uh, that thing, and if you wanted to do the hero route, tough titties, you fucked up and didn't destroy it. And that thing's pretty tough, especially if you don't have, like, uh, don't New Game Plus the weapons. The I'm destroying these Can guys. What did you do? Why is it my fault? Why are you automatically blaming me, Sonic? Don't blame the victim. 
it is annoying that, like, I guess they do justify it in that cutscene by saying, like, the gun general said, fuck Shadow, kill that bitch. Enemy sighted. This is for my friend. This'll just take three seconds. Hey, watch out! Those red thorns... But it is kind of annoying how even if you're doing the pure hero route... Man, I thought we lost. Come on. But I think we can still catch up. Let's go! Even if you're doing the pure hero route... Here we go. Uh, the gun military will still be hostile to you. So this is probably the best gun in the game. All right, Shadow. You and you only get it by finishing the last story, I think, if I remember correctly. So I'm definitely just gonna exploit this in order to make this level a lot easier, since it will just... Yeah! Tiny motorcycle! Yeah! I am the ultimate life form! All hail, Shadow! Heroes rise again! Yeah! Oh my god, it just destroyed yes, it in one hit. That was awesome. Yeah, tight. How small is that fucking motorcycle? Shadow is three feet tall. I won't allow them to do what they want to anymore. Shadow is three feet tall. That is the smallest motorcycle that has ever existed. It's like a fucking... It's like a Tonka truck Perfect. motorcycle or something like that. It's so adorable. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that's like probably the hardest mission to do if you're trying to do the hero route. Hand over that chaos emerald, or else. So, think you have a chance against me, do you? Well, I mean, you are Look, just don't take orders, a weird tentacle, weird you, thing. But I'm not here to fight you either. I'm collecting the emeralds to find my own answers. So which why don't you just I assume you have, which is what wait. You still don't know your place, do you? Why will finding the Chaos Emeralds give you your answers? Behold the wrath of black arms. It's very chubby. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! We're talking. Bring it on! I love Sonic! He's so awesome! <laughs> Sonic's like, yeah, boss fight, let's rock! It's gonna have fun! And Shadow's like, uh, okay. <laughs> that seems so great, because, like, Sha Sonic was like, yeah, and then Shadow was like, <laughs> but then he, like, put his dukes up. That was so cute. I love that. I love this. <laughs> this game's awesome! Suck my dick! What? <laughs> And what's actually pretty fun is, oh, God damn it! Uh, the way just you could always just kind of jump into enemies before. That's bullshit. You could always just kind of jump into enemies before without really needing to use the homing attack in Sonic Adventure. But in this game, because all of the enemies have health bars, they're not just bounce into them and booyah, they're instantly killed. They actually do have health bars to them now. What's cool is you can jump into the enemies just normally, and you can just kind of shave health off of them. This isn't the best time to... Whoa. <laughs> show that off. The ultimate power. Yeah, if you use Chaos Control during a boss fight, not the best moment to have used this. I'm stupid. Oh, shit, he's got a gun. Give me that gun. There we go. Yeah, frozen time, motherfucker! How fast can you die in the frozen time? <laughs> Freezes time and just fucking obliterates him with the gun. Because, again, using the chaos control like that, having your meter filled out, gives you unlimited ammo. So, gameplay-wise, like, the improvements on the, the way you controlled Shadow and Sonic in the previous games... It's taking the best of Adventure 2, and it's taking the best of Heroes. And I feel like this has the best gameplay system for that style of Sonic's gameplay. That had its start with Adventure 1 on the Dreamcast. You, you can leave or take the guns. If you don't want to use the guns, then just don't use the guns. There's never really a moment where you're forced to use them. 
Tell the commanding generals that the United Federation will never surrender to terrorists. Yes, Mr. President. Okay, I said this before, but again, when was this photo taken? This planet was once safe from tyranny and annihilation. When was this photo taken? Shadow died! Shadow died on re-entry. After they killed the bio lizard, Shadow was fucking dead. When did they take that photo? United to oh, the he two hedgehogs saved our world from the space colony arc crashing into the planet. Shadow, when was that photo taken? The only time that photo could have been taken was after Sonic Heroes. But then why would Shadow just be? He was. He thought he was like, "What? Who am I? I'm a robot. What's going on?" Where's that? Damn, fourth chaos emerald. Ah, uh, and the memes went wild. Yeah! <laughs> Tails? Yeah! Oh. <laughs> it's Eggman's theme park. He made it out of the rings he's taken from around the world. What? We've got to get those rings back. It's Tails! <laughs> A chaos. <laughs> Once again, he's powering the tornado with the chaos emerald. This is just too easy. Guess it's my lucky day. Taking that chaos emerald from that stupid fox will be like taking candy from a baby. A stupid two-tailed baby. This mission is weird because it, you remember how I talked about how why are you acknowledging the the rings? This is a level that does that. Hey, Shadow, look at this. Eggman collected rings from all around the world and has built this theme park. What? What do you say? How about the children <clears throat> take all these rings back? What do you mean the rings? Stop acknowledging the rings. That's so weird to me. Again, because it's so obvious to me that, like, the rings are just a gameplay convention. It's so weird whenever they acknowledge the rings are like a physical thing. Because they're not. They're just a. They're just a gameplay convention so that you. <clears throat> going, Shadow? So that you can take multiple hits so that you don't need to have a life bar. It's so weird to go, yeah, the rings. Eggman stole all the rings. This economy runs on rings? They just float. <clears throat> there are just rings floating around. You can't have an economy based on a naturally occurring resource. So yeah, this mission is, if you want to do the hero mission, you kind of do these fun carnival games in order to earn rings. If you take damage, you'll lose some rings, so watch out! Yeah, but again... Oh, Shadow, there you are. <laughs> oh, hey, Shadow. I like how, again, <clears throat> because... Let's take back all yeah, the go. Again, you can really very distinctly tell these are just the Sonic Heroes models. This is just using the exact same engine from Sonic Heroes. It's using the same models. It's using the same gameplay mechanics. Come on. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I think if you have two controllers, you can you can plug your second That's controller in. But it's a gun beetle sentry. And I think if you plug a second controller in, the player two will be able to play as whoever, like, the the Sonic character of that level is. So I, I'm not sure, but I think if you had two controllers, player two would be able to play as Tails during this level. I'm not sure. Shit. I'm not going to help. I did my own thing. I like how, uh, because again, from Eggman's perspective, the last time he saw Shadow was at the end of Sonic Adventure 2. He didn't, like, he didn't interact with Shadow at all during Sonic Heroes. So he still thinks like, oh, Shadow's my minion. We're both part of Team Dark, me and Shadow, right? So I didn't get to finish talking about the rest of these. There's the- oh, this is a cha Omo Chow gun. Nothing really special about it, it's just a gun that's Omo Chow's head. 
this is a healing bazooka. If you shoot it, it heals whoever you shoot. Which is useful for, like, three levels total, I think. And then this is the shadow gun. Which is the best gun in the game. It looks so fucking cool. Look at how cool this stupid gun looks. It reminds me of the gun that Vincent... To my past. <laughs> it reminds me of the gun that Vincent uses in uh, Dirge of Cerberus. If you look up Dirge of Cerberus, it look it's like beat for beat. This gun. Anyway. Again, we want to collect as many rings as possible, so we're doing these weird mini-games. Come on. I think popping that Eggman balloon might have fucked us. Yep, seems that way. Anyway. I don't have an encyclopedic knowledge of how to do these fucking... Yeah. Shadow Gun's the Shadow fucking strongest Shadow shit in the entire game. A lot of that, this is a mobile rocket. Hold on tight and get ready to fly. Uh, you can really tell that aim that Tails' voice actress is a chick. <laughs> what was my <laughs> what was my joke? You can really hear the vagina <laughs> in, in in her delivery. I, st I still feel like that applies. 